The case study that we're seeing here is a very typical uh, treatment that we do here at Bramwell Clinic. Um, the client comes to see us, he's a standard Norwood 5 on the hair loss scale and as we can see from the pictures he's a young guy and his confidence was feeling a little bit low, he'd lost his hair at quite a young early age so he came to see me here at Bramwell Clinic and what he wanted to do was just have a nice soft natural hairline but also something that was appropriate for his age and also a hairline that he can grow old with. So after a discussion with him, we decided that the best hairline for him was the peaked hairline. It's a very, very popular hairline. It's also a hairline that will grow old as you get old yourself. So it's never going to uh, look unnatural. Within the peaked hairline, we tried to put in a nice, soft, natural finish. And the finish that we can see here is called the jagged hairline. Now, this was something myself and Paul invented into the S&P industry back in 2012 and it was a huge game changer for the industry. Up until then, all hairlines were very much regimented, very straightforward. So this was the first hairline that was giving a client the look uh, very soft and very natural. And we can see this quite evident here on our case study. On the first session, what we always aim to do is take things a little bit more careful uh, it's called a template session and we've uh, approached this with a bit of caution in terms of the density that we uh, apply and also the colours that we're now going to apply to the scalp as well. We can see the client on this case study here has got about 40 to 50% density fill from the front to the crown. The main uh, part of this treatment is to restore the hairline. He has got some thinning hair already from the middle and then coming through to the centre and onto the crown. So getting the hairline was key to this treatment. Applying the density, we've uh, gone with a nice light colour as well um, and easy, easy application, nice easy spacing and this enables us so that when we see our second session that we can get in nice and easy and apply another colour. So we finished our client's first session. It took me about two hours to do. As we can see from the pictures, client's scalp has gone red. That's perfectly normal. It's a very uh, normal thing that happens in scalp micropigmentation. The skin has reacted. We're seeing inflammation. Clients uh, will generally be red for about two to three days depending on your immune system and obviously the colour of your skin tone. But during the consultation process we do explain this to the clients that after each session there will be a kind of inflammation to the scalp. So our clients come back for his second session. Uh, the first session settled down very well and re I was really happy with the colour. And what I've done on this treatment then was applied a second tone. Our hair is made up of a protein called keratin. Now, keratin is actually grey in colour, so everybody's hair, when it's shaven down, actually is a grey tone. Now, we, there are different colours, different grey tones to that, but with this light, lighter base that we applied on the first session, I then went in between the pigments where the skin is quite evident to see and we dropped in a second colour and that's kind of now give us the 80% density that we wanted and uh, this took me about two hours again to complete. The client's skin was fantastic. What he did for me after the first session was a bit of aftercare treatment and that was basically moisturising the scalp. I told the client to just keep his skin hydrated and that allows the canvas that we then work on to uh, accept the pigment a lot better. We can, uh, we can use that really well in terms of our pressure as well. And it was about a two hour session. Second session standard, everything's looking good for this client at this point. We've managed to just get a bit more creative as well with the hairline. As you can see then the jagged effect is now starting to take place as well. So two weeks after our second session, our clients come back in, he's really happy, his family, his friends have all noticed the change in his behaviour, that he's smiling a lot more, he's a lot more confident as well and this is great feedback for any practitioner to hear that things are going well behind the scenes, uh, his family life, his social life, he's all coming back 
and he's just coming to see me today to just fine tune the scalp and it's just a case of really identifying weak pigments at this stage what we will normally see after a second session is your immune system will kind of break the pigments away it will disconnect in some areas within the scalp so my job on the third session is then is just to reconnect the pigments and get a nice flow going through the scalp so we don't see those breaks those disconnections what i'm also able to do on the third session is get a, even more creative with the hairline to soften it down in some area, other areas and really create a nice soft jagged hairline for him also we're going to do some blending as well around the sides here and around the back and this enables it to get a nice flow so it now gives us that full effect of a buzz cut appearance we always ask clients to come in four to six weeks after the final session it's part of the aftercare we like to provide here at Bramwell Clinic the client come to see me exactly four weeks afterwards and it was real pleasure to see him and the the appearance that he's now got he's giving that youthful look again he's out smiling he's so happy um, his family his friends have all noticed that huge difference in him now he actually applied for a job uh, a job that he was really after a career change and he was he was very fortunate that he got the job as well and everything's looking great for this client and these are the kind of things that we like to hear about how our uh, how our treatments are life changing to the clients on so many aspects if you feel that you're in a similar position to our clients please get in contact with us on the details below